the regular season. Maloney atop the conference, 12 and 1, 24 and 2 overall, followed by Greenwood at 11 and 2 and 25 and or 21 and 5, I should say. Christian number three, Little Rock Christian Academy, 10 and 3 in the conference, 20 and 5 overall. Alma, of course, coming in six and seven in the conference, 14 and 12. BB five and eight, 12 and 13. Russellville four, nine, nine and 15. Silent Springs two and 11, eight and 17, as is Greenbrier, also two and 11 in the conference, and eight and 17 on the season. Greenwood in their road green jerseys with dark thermals trimmed in yellow as they just uh, finished the introduction of the starters for Alma tonight. There'll be Lydia Mann, the 5'9 freshman, along with Halen Carmack, the 5'5 sophomore, Zoe McGee, the 5'10 senior, Lauren Kelly, the 5'10 junior, and Hillary Mata, the 5'2 senior. So again, for Alma, it's Mann, Carmack, McGee, Kelly and Mata, those are your five starters tonight for your Alma Airedales. Wrapping up the regular season here tonight on the road here against the Badgers of BB. Starters for the BB Badgers, again 12 and 13 on the season, 5 and 8. They'll start with Madeline Atkins, a 5'6 sophomore, Trailer Farmer, a 5'6 junior, Joey Babel, a 5'4 sophomore, Layla Reese, a 5'9 freshman, and the fifth starter is Audrey Smith, a 5'6 sophomore. So we're just about set to tip this one off here tonight. It's the final game of the regular season on the road here tonight. Alma, again, looking to try to finish with a 500 mark in conference at 7-7 seven and seven with the victory here in this ball game tonight. Jumping center will be Zoe McGee. Jumping center for BB will be Layla Reese. And we're about set to get this one underway here tonight. Officials make sure everyone's set. Ball's in the air. Opening tip control by Almond. We're underway in this first of two tonight here in BB. Again, our senior girls matchup. Must win tonight for the senior boys. They get a win here tonight. They'll be playing in the state tournament next week. A loss, and their season will end here tonight. 15 seconds into this one with the basketball. Top of the key. Trying to lob it back to orbit. Threw it too high, and throwing it away there is Carmack. Trying to get it down low. I believe that was McGee. She was trying to get the pass to, but threw it overhead and threw it out of bounds. And so Alma turns the ball over, first possession here in the ball game. 7.39 to play here in the opening quarter. Uh, across midcourt, I should say, BB with the basketball. They work it down into the right corner, back out top of the key. With the basketball is Babel. Inside now at the free throw line, trying to go up for the shot there was Layla Reese. And they say tied up there. Wasn't sure if they are going to call a foul or call it a block shot. And they did rule it a jump ball in the block shot. So possession arrow, BB gets it back. They'll inbound to the left of their own basket. 7.26 to play in the first. Just underway again here in BB. Inbound goes to the left wing. Nice feed down low on the left block. Bank shot, though, wouldn't go for Reese. Rebound here for Alman. Here come the Airedales. Looking ahead into the state tournament on high note with a victory here tonight to wrap up the regular season. Again, they'll be the four seed playing the number one seed out of the east at 4 o'clock Tuesday in the opening day of the tournament. Here's a three on the left elbow. That one's off the front of the rim. No good on the shot there by McGee. Here comes BB with the basketball. Pass goes to the right wing. Open three-point shot is short by Bradley off the lip of the iron. Goes out of bounds. Last touch, though, by Alma. 6.53 to play here in the opening period. No score. BB will inbound to the right of their own basket. Just a little over a minute into this one. BB will inbound out to the top of the, or to the right wing, rather, I should say. Now Atkins brings it to the top of the free throw circle. Over to the left wing, now to Babel. She looks to penetrate, now kicks it down into the left corner to Bradley. They work it inside now on the high post, back out to Bradley. She penetrates down the middle of the lane, goes for the land, draws a foul. The first of the ball game comes with 6.37 to play here in the opening period, and that'll be on Kelly. Lauren Kelly's first, team's first. So Bradley goes to the line here for BB. First one is good. So she gets our first point of the ball game. Has one more coming. 6.37 again remaining here in the opening period. BB with our first point here of the ball game. Second free throw off the back of the rim won't go. Rebound though coming out with it. That is Reese. Back out to the top of the free throw circle to Atkins. Back to the right side to Bradley on the right wing. Cross court to Reese. She penetrates, pulls up near the right block, and the jumper is good. Layla Reese with the first basket of the ball game, our first field goal, three nothing BB.
being picked up by Reese defensively. To the right wing it goes now with the basketball is McGee. She picked up the dribble, now gives it off in the right corner. That is Mann. She dribbles back to the top of the free throw circle. Six minutes left now here in the opening period. Here's a three from the left elbow. That's in and out, no good. Rebound for BB on the missed shot there by Kelly. Or right, check that. That was McGee on the three-pointer. BB trying to add to a 3 0 lead. Here's a pass knocked the way, almost stolen. Reese comes back with it. Here's a pass down the left baseline underneath the glass. And traveling with the basketball is Trailer Farmer. First BB turnover gives it back to Alma. 5.42 to play here in the opening period. Still looking to get on the scoreboard as they trail here 3 0. Taking her time with the basketball is Carmack as she'll bring it across midcourt. Pass goes to the right wing now with the basketball is McGee. Nice backdoor pass, but the shot blocked. Coming out with it's BB. They push it up the floor, down the middle of the paint. All the way for the layup is Atkins. In and out, no good. Rebound down low. Put back, though, banked in by Farmer. Farmer with her first points, 5 nothing, And a quick timeout called here by Alma. We'll take the 30-second break with him. 5-16 to play in the opening period. It's BB5, Alma nothing. You're listening to Alma Airedale Basketball on the Marshall, 96.7 FM and 1230 AM. Alma with the basketballs. We're back here at BB, trailing five to nothing. Coming down to the final five minutes of this opening period. Here's a pass into the left corner. Back out it goes down to the top. The key with the basketballs. Carmack look to penetrate now with the dribble. Pulls it back out. Resets the offense. Man to man defense applied here by BB early in this one. Here's a bounce pass now to the right wing to Man. She pulls up, top to the key near the free throw circle. Three pointer off the back of the rim. Rebound BB. Here come the Lady Badgers. Under 4.40 to play here in the first. And now it's thrown away, trying to get a pass to the left side. She threw it behind Atkins, their second turnover. Alma gets the ball back, still trying to get on the scoreboard here early in this one as well. We're almost uh, to the midpoint of the opening period. 4.36 to play in the first, and it's 5-0 BB. Again, stay tuned. Senior boys coming up after this one in a must win for the, the Airedales. Here's a pass going to the right wing. Man pulls up top of the free throw circle. Now hands it off on the right wing with the basketball's Mata. Now they work it down low near the left baseline with the basketball's Kelly. Back out to the top of the free throw circle. Long three-pointer off the back of the rim. No good on the shot by Mann. And another rebound. Here comes BB pushing it up the floor, taking it all the way down the right side. Gets around the defender and lays it in. Is Mann Bradley. Four minutes to play here in the opening quarter is Maya Bradley, I should say, scored that one. Her first field goal, she has three. Here's a long pass, trying to get it down low on the low post. A little too high off the fingertips of McGee, out of bounds. And now the second turnover gives it back now to BB. 3.52 to play in the opening period. Alma down 7 nothing. BB with the ball and a chance to add to the lead. Full court press applied here by the Airedales. Pass goes to the left side to Babel. Back to the middle of the court. Right side it goes down to Atkins. Cross midcourt, long pass into the corner, goes off the hands of Babel out of bounds. She tried to save it a little too long on the pass. She had a chance, but it went right through her fingertips as she tried to balance right there at the sideline. And turnover number three for BB gives it back now to Alma. 3.40 to play here in the opening period as they bring it across midcourt. Top of the key with it now is Carmack. Left side back to the top of the free throw circle. Over to the right side now to Mata. Down to the right baseline, and it's off the fingertips. Uh, McGee, but a nice job. She picked it up. Knew she was going out of bounds. Threw it off the shin of one of the BB players. So possession will remain with Alma. They'll inbound to the right of their own basket with 3.25 remaining in the opening period. Inbound goes to McGee on the left block. Double team. Splits the double team. Bank shot no good. Got her own rebound, though. Kicks it out to the right baseline. Now out to the top of the key. Here's a long three. Short off the lip of the rim on the shot of a man. Battle for the loose ball out of bounds. Nice hustling effort. One of the BB players and Alma players both went out of bounds. Last touch by Alma. And they'll give it now to BB with 3.11 to play here in the opening period. Still a 7-0 lead here for the Badgers. 
Inbound against the press. Long pass right side. And almost threw it away. Nice save, though, by Atkins. Threw it in the corner to Bradley. They feed it inside. Not the way, though. And stole it here by Alma. Now it's tied up. And I believe they're going to call jump ball. Possession arrow, though. We'll give it to Alma. 2.57 left here in the opening period. 7-0 our first substitution now as Babel out and Emily Bevel, a 5-9 sophomore in for BB. 2.57 to play opening period. Airedale still trying to get on the scoreboard. They trail it here 7-0 to, to the Lady Badgers. Opening game of our two tonight here to close out the season here in BB. Regardless of the outcome tonight, again, the Airedales will, senior girls here will be playing as the four seed next week against the one seed from the east at 4 o'clock. Schedule for tip for that one. Day one on Tuesday, opening day of the state tournament next week. Senior boys game coming up. Have to win that one to make it to the state next week. Alma just passing around the perimeter. Now on the left elbow, McGee has it. Lobs it across to the right wing. Open three-point shot. No good. The shot by Kelly. They're not hitting those three-pointers here to start the game. Another rebound for BB across midcourt. Top of the key with it is Reese. They work it down into the left corner. Feet inside on the left block. Turn around. Shot goes in for Emily Bevel, who just checked in. And she gets her first points, and it's 9-0 BB. Under two minutes to play, opening period. Alma with a couple of players getting set to check in at the next stoppage in play. Pass goes to the right side to McGee. Back out to the top of the free throw circle with the basketball's man. Left side now to Carmack. She pulls up near the top of the free throw circle. Gives it off right side now to Mann again. Back over to the left wing. Here's an open three-pointer off the back of the rim. No good on the missed shot there. By Hillary Mata. And here comes BB once again. Pass goes into the right corner. Bradley fires a three. That's overshot the rim. An air ball, but rebound here. Another rebound for BB. Kicked out to the left wing. Pulling up now. Three point shot off the back of the rim by Atkins. Won't go. Rebound inside for Alma. Outlet pass comes to the right side now to Mata. She'll bring it across midcourt. Check that. That's actually McGee. Back out now to the top of the free throw circle to Kelly. They work it down into the left corner to Mata. Now back out it goes to Carmack. Dribbles down the right side of the lane, goes in for the shot, blocked from behind, out of bounds, and the block by Atkins. Both teams making substitutions now. Checking in for Alma is Kaylee Pruitt and also Brianna Stacy. Checking out will be Carmack, and it looks like Mann as well. Also a player checked in here for BB. I didn't see who that was. Give me a second, and I'll try to find out the new player out there. Well, it looks like uh, just the, they put the starters back out there. So all five starters back on the floor now for BB. Here's a shot on the left block. No good for Alma. Rebound for BB. Foul 45 seconds of the opening period. Pass down into the left corner. Farmers cut off there. Kicks it back in the corner. Three-point shot. No good by Atkins. Bounces up and over the top of the backboard. So automatically Alma will inbound with 39 seconds to play in the opening period. Still trying to get on the scoreboard. Trailing nine to nothing. We're winding down this opening period. Quickly checking in now is Zoe McGee, 5'8 sophomore for BB, and she will replace Trailer Farmer. Taylor Farmer, I should say, the 5'6 junior. I'm with the basketball as across midcourt with the basketball is McGee. Pulls up top of the free throw circle. She'll fire three pointer, and that one's good. And Alma's finally on the scoreboard here late in the opening period. Nine to three on that three-pointer, and it's down to 20 seconds left in the opening period. And it looks like BB may try to run the clock for a final shot here. Leading nine to three. Top of the key, Atkins with it. Gives it off on the right side now to Reese. Back over to the left side to Atkins. Now to the left corner to Bradley. Down to Reese, left block. Turn around, jumper is good. She now has four points. And that'll be the final play of the opening period at the end of one. BB leads by eight. It's BB 11 and Alma three. We'll take a 60-second break. Be back with quarter number two in a moment as you're listening to the, uh, Alma Airedale basketball on the Marshall, 96.7 FM and 12.30 AM.
We're back here live here in BB. Chris Rhodes with you here from Badger Arena in our first of two tonight. The senior girls matchup. I'm off to a very cold shooting night. Up that three-pointer right in the last 30 seconds, their first points. Trailing here 11-3, to three, and BB gets the ball to start the period. They work it out to the top of the free-throw circle. A three-pointer in and out back is no good. Another offensive rebound, and a follow shot draws a foul, and BB will go to the line with 7.44 to play in the opening half. Saying a team foul, trying to see who they called that on. Brianna Stacy picks up her first in the second team foul. So two shots coming here at the line. First one off the back of the rim, no good for Zoe McGee. She has one more coming. Seven forty-four to play, first half. Second free throw off the rim, no good. Rebound here for Alma, trailing by eight. Across midcourt with the basketball is McGee. Finds a teammate open in the left corner. Three-point shot, no good. Overshot it. That was Brianna Stacy, I believe. Now I actually check that. That was Pluer. Just shot a little too much on it and hit off the opposite side of the rim. And BB with the basketball now. Kicked out to the top of the key. Here's Atkins for three. And that's good. Madeline Atkins. Her first points of the ball game. And it opens up an 11-point lead now for BB at 14-3. 7-10 remaining in the half as they bring it across midcourt with the basketball is McGee. Gives it off now on the left side. Plurred with the basketball. They work it to the top. The key now to Stacy. Under seven minutes to go now here in the half. Back out to Stacy. Guarded by Atkins. Gives it off on the left side with the basketball. That is McGee. Now they work it down low on the left block. She's double team under the glass and to lob it back out to the left wing. Now back out to man, top of the key, and reset the offense. Down to 6.35 to play now in the first half. Man gives it off on the left side here to Pluert. Back out near the top of the free throw circle with the basketball is McGee. Now dribble penetrates, kicks it out in the left corner. Back out it goes now. Over to Stacy, right wing. Taking their time offensively here, trying to lob it back door again. Threw it too high over the head of Kelly, out of bounds. Almost third turnover. BB with the basketball and back into the game now are Carmack and also back in his man. Ford and Stacy both check out. And also BB making a substitution now as I believe uh, Bevel just checked out. And Nadia Miller checks in the ball game, the 5 4 junior. Coming down the six minute mark left, first half. BB with the basketball, leading by 11, 14 to three. Pass goes to the right side, back out now to the top of the key with the basketball. That's Babel, and now it looks like the coach wants to talk it over. Timeout BB will take it with him. 30 second timeout, 5.59 to play here in the first half. It's BB 14, Alma three. This is Alma Airedale basketball in the Marshall 96 7 FM at 1230 AM. Back to action here in BB. Badgers with the basketball as they work it back across the midcourt. Pass goes to the left side here to Babel. Inside on the low post. Here's a turnaround shot off the glass. That's no good. That's actually Bonds in the lineup, not Miller. That shot wouldn't go. Here rebound here for Alma. Across midcourt. Give it off here on the left wing. Three-pointer off the glass. No good. Battle inside for the loose ball and coming out with its BB. Alma's been uh, ice cold from three-pointers tonight. They've hit one of about 10. Under five and a half to play here in the first half. Trying to add to an 11 point lead. Nice spin move on the right side. Shooting over double team as Atkins would go. Alma with a rebound. Here come the Airedales. Pass goes to the left side. Pulling it up now and setting the offense is Mata. Feeds down low on the left block. Left hand shot off the glass is good. Count that one for Lydia Mann. Her first points of the game, and it's 14-5. to five. Lead down to nine as we hit the five-minute mark left first half. 
Beebe brings it across midcourt. Pass goes to the right side. Bounce pass down to Reese. Right baseline shot blocked, but a foul called with four minutes, 53 seconds left here in the first half. They'll call that one on Lauren Kelly. Her second, team's third. A couple of players getting set to check in here for BB. They lead it 14 to 5. Chance to add to it at the line. First free throw is good. So Reese, first free throw of the night, gives her five points now. Boss checks out of the lineup here for BB, as well as McGee. It's like the starting five back out there for BB. Same free throw where Reese is good as well. She now has six. Leads back to 10 at 15 to five. Substitution, I believe, for Alma now as Kelly checks out and Stacy back in the lineup. 4.53 again left here in the first half. Alma down by 11 at 16 to five, matching the biggest lead. As they bring it across midcourt. Pass goes to Stacy on the left side. Back out to the top, Nikita McGee. Over to the right wing, penetrating down the left side. Drawing a foul. Shot will not count. They say the foul is on the floor before the shot. They're going to call that on Bradley. Maya's first. And the team's first. Stops the clock momentarily with 4.38 to play in the half. Inbound lob down to the free throw line. Man pulls up near the left block. Nice spin move. Right hand bank shot is good. Lydia now with four. Alma starting to get some shots to go now. And it leads down to nine. It's 16 to seven. 4.25 to play first half. Pass down the left baseline. Pulling up there is Farmer. Back out it goes to Babel. Top of the key. Down into the right corner to Bradley. Back to the right wing. Penetrating. Now lobs it into Reese on the low post. Shot over two defenders is good. Leather Reese now with eight points. The lead all scores. Lead back to 11. 18 to 7. Alma with the basketball. And we hit the midpoint of the quarter as she brings it across midcourt. Pass goes to the left side. Back out now. Top of the free throw circle to McGee. Back to the right side of Mann. Lydia. Dribbles around the defender on the baseline. Left hand bank shot wouldn't go. Rebound and it momentarily knocked away. Now finally getting it back. Going up strong. Drawing a foul. And Alma will go to the free throw line. McGee with the nice effort there. Farmer picks up the foul. Taylor's first, team second. 344 to play here in the first half. A chance to cut that lead back down to nine. She hits both free throws. First one's on the way and good. The 5'10 senior, Zoe McGee. That's four points now and a three-pointer and that field goal first trip, free throw I should say, in her first trip to the line. Gives her four to make it five. She hit them both. And it's 18 to nine. BB with the basketball as they bring it across midcourt. Top of the key. Setting it up as Atkins. Down to 335 to play in the half. BB has led all the way. We're off to a nine-nothing lead. Here's a feed inside on the low post. Double team knocked away. Now picked up and they caught a jump ball. Possession arrow gives it back to Alma. 324 to play in the first half as the Airedales get the ball back. And this senior girls matchup against senior boys will follow. It's a must win tonight for the Alma Airedale senior boys. A win puts them in the state tournament next week. A loss and the season's over. We know that the girls here will be the fourth seed regardless of what happens here tonight. They'd like to finish with a 500 market conference with a win here tonight. Here's a long three top of the key and that's good for Carmack. And his first points of the ball game, second three-pointer for Alma. And the lead's down to six, 18-12. Here's a feed down the right side and going up on the right block, drawing the foul. Farmer goes to the line to shoot two. Zoe McGee picks up her first personal. Team fouls the fourth. 2.52 to play first half. Alma's back within six now, 18-12. They're finally starting to get a few shots to go down. First free throw on the way is good. Count that for the 5'6 junior Farmer. Her first trip to the line, she has three points now. 19 to 12. Second one short off the lip of the rim and a rebound here comes to McGee. Alma basketball, chance to cut into this seven point deficit. 2.45 to play first half as they walk it across midcourt with the basketball, that's Mann. She dribbles to the left wing, trying to lob it down on the left block, knocked away and stolen, a foul call on Alma. Reach in foul is gonna be on Mann. Lydia's first, Tim, team's fifth, also their fourth turnover. 
So at 2.35 to play in the half, BB gets the ball back, a chance to add to the seven-point lead. They lead 19 to 12. Pass out to the top of the key here to Farmer. Gives it off now the right wing. They hand it off there with the basketball. Back out to the wing. Down low to Reese. Right baseline at the right block jumper is good. She has 10 to lead all scores. Leads back to 9, 21 12. Under 2 10 remaining first half. Alba again across midcourt. Man down the left side. Kicks it into the corner where the basketball is Mata. Back out it goes now to Carmack. Carmack down the left side of the lane. Splits a double team layup. Wouldn't go, but draws a foul with 155 to play in the half. They're going to call that one on Bradley, the 5'7 sophomore. Maya second, third team foul. So going to the line to shoot two will be Carmack. Aylin, first trip to the free throw line, has a three-pointer for her three points so far. Give her four. She hits that one. One more coming. That makes it 21-13. 155 to play first half. Alma's down by eight now. She can cut it to seven. BB 21, Alma 13. Slow shooting, uh, very cold shooting here to start the game. But Alma's starting to warm up a bit. As Carmack hits them both now, they're back within seven. Inbound against the press. Right side, back over to the left side of Farmer. Therese across midcourt. Long pass down to Bradley in the right corner for three, and it's good. Maya now they. Leads back to 10. Quickly, here comes Alma. 135 to play first half. Top of the key with it. McGee, top of the free throw circle. Now hands it off there with the basketball is Carmack. Down under a minute and a half to play first half. BB leading 24-14 in this senior girls matchup. Our opening game here tonight. Pass back over to the right side to Mata. Dribbles back top of the key. Back over to Carmack. Three-pointer from the left wing. No good. Off the glass. Rebound, though, for Alma. Dribbling back out in the right corner is McGee. Pulls up right wing. She'll fire three. Now we will go. So in second three, she has eight. Leads back down to seven. They've been as, as close as they've been able to get in six since falling behind nine nothing. Final minute now of the first half. Working it against the press across midcourt. BB with the basketball. Pulling up. They give it to Reese at the free throw line. Shot off the back of the rim. No good. Carmack comes out with a rebound. Here comes Alma. Chance to cut into that seven-point deficit. Carmack looking to penetrate. Now kicks it into the left corner. Back at it goes, top of the free throw circle. Open three is good. And the three starting to fall now for Alma Man with her first. She has seven. And they're within four, 24-20. Close as they've been since they fell behind nine. Nothing to start the game. Against the press up the left side, dribbling it out of bounds. Off the foot of Reese, turnover number six. Alma gets the ball back with 28.1 to play here in the opening half. Reese checks out. Bevel checks in to replace her. 28.1 second to play. Down by four, Alma basketball. They've trailed by as much as 11 on three or four occasions. Starting to heat up on the three-pointers. Has got them back within four. Pass deflected right back into the hands of Carmack. Kicks it in the left corner. Open three. That one's no good. Rebound here for BB on the missed shot. Bamata in the left corner. Final 10 seconds. Here comes BB across midcourt. With the basketballs. Atkins penetrates in the lane. Draws a foul. Threw up a shot. They're going to say count it. Chance for the three-point play. They're going to call that on Stacy. Rihanna, the 5'6 six senior, second personal. Team foul is the sixth. Farmer now with five. She's one of two from the line. Make it two of three. She hits that to convert the three-point play. She has six and leads back to seven. 5.6 seconds left in the half. Alma has to hurry. Quickly up the left side with the basketballs. McGee fires up a three. Off bounce will go, and that's the end of the first half. BB will take a seven-point lead to the locker room here in halftime. It's our halftime score. It's the BB Badgers 27 and the Alma Airedales 20. We'll take a two-minute break. Be back with our halftime stats here in a moment from BB as you're listening to Alma Airedale basketball in the Marshall 96.7 FM and 12.30 a.m.
Arena here in BB as we're set to start the second half. BB Badgers leading 27-20 if you're just tuning in, just joining us. I'd like to welcome everyone listening in on 96.7 FM and 1230 AM, the Marshall, as well as everyone listening in on the school's uh, website on the YouTube, watching the live video and listening to our audio of that as well. BB with the basketball and the pass into the corner was knocked way out of bounds. So it's Alma, or I should say BB inbounding in front of their own bench. Actually, I think they called a foul there. It will be the first foul against Alma. I missed who that was called on. I believe they called it on Carmack. We'll have to check and see on that one. Yeah, it was Carmack. Here's a shot. Meanwhile, inside wouldn't go. And a rebound here for Alma. Carmack with it. Feeds it off on the right block. Shot short wouldn't go for Kelly. And here comes BB with a basketball. Cross midcourt. Pass goes to the right block. Bank shot in and out. No good for Atkins. Rebound here for Alma. Quickly here come the Airedales, down by seven. Carmack down the right side, running shot off the glass, wouldn't go, and a rebound for BB. Pushing it up the left side's Farmer. Farmer kicks it into the left corner with the basketball's Bradley. Dribbles around one, the defender now tied up. Jump ball is called. Nice job there by Kelly to reach in to tie it up. Possession arrow gives it to Alma with 7.07 left here in the third. Again, just underway, second half. Still 27-20. BB with a seven-point lead after the halftime score. Alma takes their time of the basketball as they give it now to Carmack. So we go under seven minutes left here in the third, a little over a minute into the second half. Top of the key with it's McGee to the right side. Modifiers along three in and out. Kissed off the glass and goes in. Once about time they get one to go their way. And then so many that wouldn't go. That one goes in. Her first points on the three. And now a turnover at midcourt. Here comes Alma. Pass ahead to Carmack, runs it down the corner, but was her momentum taking her out of bounds, trying to throw it back to a teammate, and it's stolen right back. BB with the basketball, not the way, stolen again. Ahead to Carmack, all alone, takes it down the right side of the lane, layup is good. She now has seven. Ninth turnover for BB, and it's all of a sudden a two-point ball game, closest they've been since the very early going. BB with the basketball, pass into the right corner. Dribbling around a couple of defenders, now third, and laying it off the glass and in. Nice job by Farmer. She has eight. Leads back to four, six minutes to play here in the third. 29-25. Alma with the basketball. Top of the key with the basketball is Lydia Mann. Gives it off down the right side. No, actually, Mann kept it. Split a double team layup, wouldn't go, and a rebound here for BB. BB with the basketball, pass out to the top of Keita Farmer, feeds it down low on the right block, bank shot is good, counter for Babel. She gets her first points of the ball game. Down under five and a half minutes to play in the third, leads back to six, 31-25. Top of the key with the basketball's man. Gives it off in the right side with the ball there is Kelly. Kelly feeds it down low on the right block. Turnaround shot. In and out. Wouldn't go. And the shot by man. Battle for the loose ball. Picked up here for BB. Chance to add to their six-point lead. So we're down to the final five minutes here of the third. Long pass ahead to Atkins. Pulls up there. Now I believe there's a timeout called by BB. I'm not sure. Oh, we've got an injured player here for BB. Hobbling off is Babel. She's going to be replaced as McGee checks in to replace her. 4.58 left here in the third. Now substitution here for Alma. Checking out will be Mann and Stacy back in to replace her. Inbound at midcourt here for BB. Trying to add to this six-point lead, leading 31-25. Pass goes to the right side with the basketballs. Bradley feet inside on the high post. Kicked out in the right corner. Three-pointer banked off the glass and in. I'm sure that wasn't McGee's plan, but she'll take it. Her first points. And the lead's back to nine, 34-25. 4.35 to play here in the third. And nice spin move in the paint. Left-hand shot by McGee wouldn't go, but she does draw a foul. We'll go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Bevel. Emily Bevel's first, first team foul of this half on BB. 4.34 to play here in the first half. First free throw bounces around and goes in. Count it for Zoe McGee. McGee now at nine. Three of three from the line. 34-26, lead down to eight. Second one short, no good. Rebound deflected and a battle for it. It's on the floor, tied up. Jump ball is called. Possession error will give it to BB with four and a half minutes exactly remaining 
here in the third. 34-26. BB with the eight-point lead. And will inbound try to add to that. Inbound goes to the right side with the basketball is Atkins as she'll bring it across midcourt. Dribbles to the left side, trying to feed it down low. Back out into the left corner, knocked away, loose ball, and a foul called here on Atkins. Or on Alma, I should say, with 420 left here in the third period. That foul's going to be on McGee. And that's number two on her. Second team foul as well. Inbound out to the left wing with the basketball is Bradley. Feet inside, knocked away, almost stolen. Kick back out into the left wing. Three-point shot is good. Count it for Atkins. She now has six points on a couple of threes. Down to four minutes left here in the third. Leads back to 11, matching their biggest lead. Across midcourt, lost the ball was Carmack. Picked up, though, by teammate. Over to the right side, it goes to Kelly. Down under four minutes left here in the third, over halfway through this third period already. They got within two, leads back to 11, matching the biggest lead. We have a foul underneath, jockeying for position down low. They're going to call it on B.B. Zoe McGee. Her first team foul, number two. 3.45 left to play here in the third. And inbounding will be Alma. To the left elbow, three-point shot off the back of the rim. No good as McGee. Shot wouldn't go. And a rebound here for BB. Chance to add to that 11-point lead. Here's a running shot by Reese at the free throw line. No good. Grabbing the rebound for Alma as McGee. She'll bring it up the right side across midcourt, pushing it up the floor. Takes it all the way to the hole. Layup off the glass. No good. Battle for the loose ball. Coming out with Reese here for the Lady Badgers. She'll slow it down now as she walks it across midcourt. Under 3.20 to play in the third. Applying some defensive pressures, man. And timeout call here by BB. We'll take the 30 second break with them. With 3.15 to go in the third, it's BB 37, Alma 26. You're listening to Alma Airedale basketball in the Marshall 96 7 FM at 1230 AM. Yeah, thanks. Back here live here in BB. Badgers will inbound with 3.15 to play here in the third. Again, welcome in all of our listeners here on the Marshall 96.7 FM and 12.30 a.m. And everyone uh, watching this on the school's YouTube channel. Listening to our feed on that as well. Here's a spin move in the lane. The shot drawing a foul. It drew a foul and Atkins goes to the line. 3.09 to play in the third. That's going to be on Mata. Minus first, team's third. First free throw on the way, and that one is good for the 5'6 sophomore, Madeline Atkins. She has seven now. It's her first trip to the free throw line, so add that to a couple of three-pointers. Give her eight as she hits them both. All of a sudden, that two-point lead is up to 13. Biggest lead of the game now, 39-26. An 11-0 run here by BB. At, it's uh, Alma with the basketball. Pass goes to the right side. Mata with the or man with the basketball. Dribbles to the right baseline. Now pulls up on the right block. Draws a foul on the shot. It wouldn't go, but she will go to the free throw line. Atkins picks up the foul. Her first. Team's third. 2.48 left here in the third. Down by 13. Alma needs these free throws to try to snap this scoring streak here. 11-0 streak by BB, but the first one short off the lip of the rim, no good. Second one coming, and that one is good. So man's first trip to the line. She hits one of two. She has eight. The lead's down to 12, 39-27. Snaps that 11-0 scoring streak by BB. Midcourt pass against the press, throwing away. Their 10th turnover. Here comes Alma. Top of the key with it. That's McGee. Pulls up. Hands it off to Mata. Back out top of the free throw circle. Long three. Off the rim. No good on the shot there by Kelly. 
Here's a rebound for the Lady Badgers. Long pass ahead. Here's a three left wing. Count that one for Atkins. Her third of the game. She has 11 and then leads out to 15 now. 42-27. Under 2.15 to play here in the third. Pulling up Carmack. Top of the key. Gives it now to Mata. Left side it goes to McGee. Back to Mata. Three-pointer right wing. That was short off the lip of the rim. No good. Rebound on the left block. Follow shot wouldn't go. Rebound tapped out. Pulling out with it's McGee. And here comes BB. Ahead it goes to Farmer. Right side. Dribbles out top of the key. 150 to play now in the third period. To Bradley left side. She dribble penetrates the lane. Gets around two defenders. Layup rolls in. Bradley now with 10. And it's 44-27. And it's all of a sudden that leads out to 17. 135 to play here in the third. Down by 17 with the basketball's Alma. Down the left side of the lane, taking all the way to the glass. Man draws a foul on the left attempt. She'll go to the line with 127 left in this third period. Fourth team foul. Bevel picks up the foul. Emily Bevel second. Lydia Mann, the 5'9 freshman, goes to the line. First free throw in and out wouldn't go. She's one of three now from the free throw line. Has one more coming. Looking for a ninth point of the night. We'll cut that lead down to 16. 127 left here in the third. Second free throw is good. Man now has nine with that free throw. Inbound. Ahead it goes now to Reese across midcourt. 120 to play third period. Left side to Farmer. No, that's Atkins, I should say. Back out to Reese. Look to try to dribble through a double team. Draws a reach-in foul. foul number 13. Nope, Zoe McGee actually number 13. I thought he said 32. I missed that completely. Her third, team score. Quick inbound into the left corner. Open three-point shot. Wouldn't go for Bradley. Rebound. Here come the Airedales. Down by 16. Carmack all the way down the left side. Layup wouldn't go. Battle for the loose ball. Out of bounds. Last touch by Alma. It belongs to BB with one minute, three seconds left here in the third period. Chance to add to that 16-point lead, up 44-28. Under a minute to play as they bring it across midcourt. Left side it goes with the basketball is Reese. Back to the right side, inside a low post. Going up for the shot was Bevel, knocked away out of bounds. Last touch by Alma with 49.9 seconds remaining here in the third. So BB will inbound to the right of their own basket. Zoe McGee, the 5'8 sophomore, will inbound. Inside it goes to Bradley. Shot block. Coming out with it is Cormac. She'll push it up the right side. Under 45 seconds left in the period. Gives it off to a teammate. Long three-pointers and air ball on the shot by Norrin Kelly. Goes out of bounds. It belongs to BB with 38 seconds to play in the third period. Chance to add to that 16-point lead. Leading 44-28. Inbound on the left side across midcourt. Long pass down into Bradley in the left corner. Back out it goes to Atkins. Final 30 seconds. Atkins with the basketball, dribbles near the corner and bumped into by Mata. That'll be her second personal. Fifth team foul. Comes with 23.5 seconds left to play here in this third period. BB will inbound in the left corner to Madeline Atkins, the sophomore. Dribbles back out near midcourt. Looks like they may want to run the clock and take the last shot of the period. Up by 16. Still with the dribbles, Atkins down under 15 seconds. Slimes it left side to Bradley. Down to the final 10, back to Atkins, back to Bradley. She dribbles down the left block, goes in for the shot, knocked away. Kelly comes out with it. Final three seconds to half court. She'll try to heave a shot, blocked at midcourt, and that's the end of the third period. At the end of book three, BB has their biggest lead here at 60, and they lead it 44 to 28. We'll take a 60-second break. Be back with the final period in a moment. You're listening to Alma Airedale basketball on the Marshall 96.7 FM at 12.30 a.m. Okay.
Five seconds. Forty-four twenty-eight. Our scores. We get set to start this fourth and final period. Chris Rhodes back with you here live here in BB at Badger Arena. Alma gets the basketball down by sixteen to start the final period. Senior boys game to follow this one and a must win for Alma tonight. Here's a feed down low on the right block to bank shot good. Count it to start the period here for Man. Lydia now with 11. They're back within 14. 44-30. 7.40 to go here in the game. Atkins fires through a three. Top of the key. Hints another one. Natalie Atkins. Atkins now with 14. Our fourth three-pointer of the game. And the lead 17 matching the biggest lead here. 47-30. Under seven and a half minutes to play in the game. Pass goes to the right side here to Kelly. Lauren Kelly lobs it down low. And the shot off the glass. In and out will not go. And the shot there by Mann. And then a foul over the back against Mann. Well, that kind of the way in the nice spin. That would roll in and out. She picks up her third and the actually her second. Sixth team foul. BB basketball, chance to add to that 17-point lead. Coming down to the final seven minutes of this ball game. Pass into the right corner. Back out to Reese. Gives it now to Atkins. Down the right side, spin move in the lane. off balance shot off the glass, wouldn't go. Rebound by Alma. Here come the Airedales. Up the right side, McGee. Gives it off to her teammate. Going up at the high post. Jumper by Kelly off the back of the rim. Won't go. And a rebound here for the Lady Badgers. Under 6.45 to play in the game. BB basketball. They give it to Madeline Atkins. Pass to Reese, almost stolen. She now gets around two defenders. Running shot short, throw off the lip of the rim. Grab the rebound is Lauren Kelly. Now a quick pass ahead to Mann. Mann finds Stacy in the corner. She penetrates, now lobs it out to Mata in the right baseline. She dribbles into the paint. Back out to Stacy on the left wing. Top of the free throw circle, it goes down to McGee. And they'll reset the offense, 6.15 to play in the game. Down by 17, lob back door for Lauren Kelly, double team, knocked away, loose ball out of bounds. Last touch by Alma, turnover, gives it back to BB. That's their sixth turnover, first of the second half. It comes with 6.09 to play in the ball game. BB with the basketball, a chance to add to that 47 to 30 lead. Up by 17 here. Pulling up the free throw line with the basketball is Farmer. Left side it goes, left wing to Bradley, back out to Reese. Right side now it goes, back out to the top of the key. With the basketballs, Bradley. She gave it off there, and a three-point shot again by Atkins is good. Her fifth of the game. She has 17 points now tonight, and it's a 20-point lead, biggest lead at 50 to 30. Now left paint and left side of the paint going in for the layup, I should say, and drawing the foul was Lydia Mann. Atkins picks up the foul. Madeline's second, sixth team foul. Stops the clock momentarily with 5.38 left to play. 50 to 30 again, our score. Free throw, bounces around, goes in. Count it there for Lydia Mann. She now has 12. She's three of five from the free throw line. One more coming as a lead down to 19. Lauren Kelly checked out, checking in is Taylor Perry, a 5-8 sophomore, her first action of the ball game. Looks like Mata also checked out. Trying to see who came in to replace her. May have been plured. And it is. She's back in. Hitting both free throws now is Mann. She has 10. Or 13, rather, I should say. Leads down to 18. 50 to 32. Five and a half minutes to play in the game. Down the left side of the paint. Splitting a double team. Farmer lays it in with the left hand. She has 10. Leads quickly back to 20. 5.20 to play here in the ball game. Top of the key with the basketball is Zoe McGee. McGee pulls up there, kicks it into the left corner, down to Mann. She goes in strong, layup wouldn't go. Fouled on the play. Offensive foul. They're going to call offensive foul, actually, on Lydia Mann. Her third, team seventh. 5.07 left here in this ball game. With the basketball, Lady Badgers across midcourt. Pass goes to the left side here to Farmer. Now over to the right side of Babble. Back to Farmer, penetrating in the lane, knocked away. Loose ball, they battle for it. Coming out with it here is Alma. Down to 4.45 left. Long pass is stolen away. Reese comes up with it, gets around one defender. Now a foul called on Stacy. Rihanna's third. 
One and one coming here at the line on the 17 foul. That's the eighth, I should say. Three players back in. Looks like starting five back on the court here for Alma. 4.42 to play in the game. They trail it by 20, 52-32, and a chance to add to it here at the line for Layla Reese, the 5'9 freshman. First one on the way in the front end of the one and one. Short off the front of the rim, no good. And a rebound here for Alma. Quickly up the floor to Mata. Pulls up near the right baseline. Jumper is good. Hillary now with five. Leads down to 18. Four and a half minutes to go. 52-34. Reese across midcourt. Right side it goes with the basketballs battle. Back out to the top of the key. Let's dribble around the defender and bumped into her. And the foul is going to be called. That's Lydia Mann's fourth. Ninth team foul, final one and one here for the Badgers of BB. 4.17 to play here in this one. They have a chance to go back up by 20 if she converts both free throws. 5A sophomore Zoe McGee at the free throw line. Actually checked that that's 13 Zoe Babble, the 5 4 sophomore. First one is good. She has three now. First trip to the line. Tori Bailey, the 5 6 sophomore, replaces Farmer. Lead back again to 19. She can make it 20 with this free throw. In and out, no good. A rebound here for Alma. Alma with the basketball. Down to 4-10 left now as they bring it across midcourt. Pulling up top of the key. Three-point shot is good. Counted for Zoe McGee. Her third of the game. She has 12. Quick timeout by Alma. We'll take the 30-second break with them. 4-5 to play. BB 53, Alma 37. This is Alma Airedale basketball. The Marshall 96.7 FM at 12.30 a.m. Okay. Five seconds. Four oh five left to play in the basketball game as we're back here live here in BB at Badger Arena. Badgers up by 17, 16, I should say. As they break the press feed now low to Bailey. Bank shot is good. Tori Bailey, who just checked in not long ago, gets on the scoreboard. The sophomores first two. 55-37, lead back to 18. Alba with the basketball across midcourt. Kicked Amata in the left corner. Three-pointer off the back of the rim. No good. Running down the rebound on the right wing is Kelly. Back at it goes now with the basketball. Zoe McGee standing in the midcourt circle. She dribbles back to the top of the free throw circle. Now over to the right side. Carmack with the basketball. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. Lob back door for Kelly. Lauren lost it. Loose ball. She dives on the floor for it. Jump balls is tied up. Possession arrow. Gives it back to BB. 325 to play in this one. BB with a chance to add to this 18-point lead. Biggest lead in the first half was 11. They have led by as much as 20 here in the second half. Alma got within two about midway through the third quarter. Badgers then went on an 11-0 run and have been cruising since. Pass across midcourt deflected out of bounds. BB retains possession. Will inbound in front of their own bench with 3.21 to play. Inbound to Reese near the free throw line. Back to Bailey. Long three left wing. Short off the rim. Rebound for Alma. 3.15 to play. Airedale's across midcourt with it. Down by 18. Here's Kelly launching a long three. And it's good. Lauren Kelly's first points on that three-pointer. 55-40. Three minutes to play. BB up by 15. Reese in the lane. Running floating shot. In and out. Bounces around and goes in. That's kind of been the story tonight. The ball's been kind for BB, not for Alma. Reese now with 12. Lead back to 17. Pass in the corner. Off the fingertips of Mina come through behind her. She tried to reach out to grab it. And turnover's the eighth unofficially here for the Airedales. 2.47 to play. Lady Badgers with the ball in a 17-point lead. Left side it goes here to battle. Cross midcourt. Feeds it inside to Reese. Low post. Jumper is good. She now has 14. Lead is back to 19, 59 to 40. Two and a half minutes to play now in the game. Top of the key with it for Alma. Zoe McGee finds a little opening. Her three is good. Count it. 
Zoe now with 15, her fourth three of the ball game. Quick timeout here for Alma. 2.22 left to play here in the ball game. Looks like they're taking a full, so we'll take a 60 second timeout with them. 59 43, BB on top. This is Alma Airedale basketball on the Marshall 96 7 FM and 1230 AM. <coughs> Five seconds. Two twenty-one left in the games. We're back to play here in BB. Badgers up by 16, 59-43. Pass went in the corner and they were trapped there. So quick timeout by BB with 2.14 to play. We'll take the full 60-second break with them. Still 59-43. BB on top. This is Alma Airedale basketball on the Marshall 96.7 FM and 12.30 AM. Five seconds. Two fourteen left to play here in the basketball game as we're back here at Badger Arena and BB. Badgers up 59-43 as we're coming down the final couple of minutes of this senior girls matchup tonight. Again, Alma still has clinched the fourth spot, so they'll be in the state tournament next week, even though they're going to lose here tonight. Big one coming up next. The boys have to win to make it to the state. And mid-quarter reach-in foul called here on Zoe McGee. I have that as her fourth and the team's tenth. So two shots coming at the line for the 5'9 freshman, Layla Reese. Reese has 14 tonight, two of three from the free throw line. Make it three of four. She hits the first one. One more coming. She now has 15 points total. Lead back to 17 is 60 to 43. 157 left here in the ball game. Again, a big one coming out next for the senior boys. A must win to make the state tournament next week. Next one coming up. Good as well. Reese now with 16. Three, uh, four or five, I should say, from the line. A couple of players in now for Alma. Kenzie Rushing and Taylor Perry check in. Mata checks out, and also coming out will be Zoe McGee. Rushing the 5'5 five five sophomore. Again, one of those two who checked in, along with Thalen Perry, the 5'8 sophomore. Couple of sophomores seeing some playing time here in the last minute and 40 seconds. 140 to play. That looks like a third player's coming in. Carmack has... Uh, Staying in or, or checking in. Man checks out. 154 left here in the ball game. 61-43. Again, 18-point lead for BB. Carmack takes it down the right side of the paint. Running shot draws a foul with 148 to play. I don't think they ever start, started the clock there. Well, coach starting to put in some players. Let them get some playing time. A couple more checking in momentarily. That foul, by the way, was the first on Babel. Her, six, or her first 16 foul, I should say, right? 
Now checking in will be Natalie Klein, a 5'10 senior. Nadia Miller and Audrey Smith check in as well for BB. Bradley and Battle checked out. At the line is Cormac. She hits the free throw, now replaced by Plurid, who checks back in. 61-45. She has nine points now in the ball game. She checked out. 16-point lead here as she hit those two free throws. Across midcourt, trying to dribble through a double team is Atkins. She's fouled with 138 to play. I think they called that on Plourd, her first. Again, they're in the bonus. Two shots coming. For the 5'6 sophomore, Madeline Atkins. She has been red hot here tonight. Free throw is good. Her 18th point tonight. She's 3 of 3 from the line. Also has five three pointers. Bonds checks in. Checking out will be Farmer for BB. Second free throw is good as well. Atkins now with 19 in the ball game. Perfect from the line. 4 of 4. Lead back to 18. 63 45. Final minute and a half here. Pulling up top of the key. Here's a long three pointer. That shot would not go. And the shot attempt by Justice Carter is in for Alma. Here come the Badgers. Dribbling down in the corner, not the way, and stolen. Coming out with that steal is Kinsey rushing. Long pass ahead, it goes down to Perry in the lane. She goes in for a shot and draws the foul. That'll stop the clock with the 112 to play. Nadia Miller picks up her first personal foul. Seventh team foul. So that'll send her to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. First one on the way, and that one is good for Dalen Perry. She has one more coming. That one is no good. The rebound here for BB as they will bring it across midcourt. Final minute of the ball game here as we hit the final 60 seconds. Pass goes to the free throw line to the left block. Bank shot is good. Count that one. For Reese, she now has 16. Alma with the basketball, feet inside, stolen away, tied up, 46.1 to play. Jump ball call, it belongs to BB, or Alma, I should say, with just over 46 seconds to play. 19-point ball game, 65-46, BB will win it here tonight. Alma will inbound to the left of their own basket. Getting some players who... Normally, you don't see much time. A little playing time here at the end of this one. Down the right side of the lane. Running shot, but Perry wouldn't go. And a rebound underneath here for BB. And a reach-in foul called on Perry. Her first. Two shots coming as they're in the bonus. So we'll walk to the other end of the court for free throws here. Going to the line will be Bonds. Amaya Bonds. Looking for her first points tonight. First to two on the way. And that one's good. She has one more coming. 37.4 left here in the ball game. Lead back to 19. This will make it 20. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound inside, though, by Miller. She's tied up. Jump ball. Possession arrow. Gives it back to... to uh, not Alma, but to BB with 33.8 seconds left. A couple of substitutions. Reese and Farmer check out. Checking in will be McGee. Also back in will be Farmer. Inbound goes to the left side to Smith. Final 30 seconds. There's a long three from the left elbow. In and out, no good. Rebound down low. Bonds follow won't go. Rebound that knocked away out of bounds. Last touch here by BB with 21.4 seconds left. They're up by 19, 65-46. They're actually called a foul on the play against Zoe McGee over the back. Her second. Team's eight. So a one-on-one -one coming on the other end here for Alma. Going to the line will be Perry, the 5'8 sophomore. Dalen Perry 
One of two in her first trip of the line. Front end's good here. She has two points now. She's two of three. 65-47. That'll cut the lead down to 18. One more coming. 21.4 seconds remaining in this one. Off the back of the rim in the second one. No good. Rebound tapped out. Perry comes out with it. Dribbles to the left baseline. Splits a double team. Shot off the glass. Wouldn't go. Rebound tipped to a teammate. Kicked out to the free throw line. Back out goes to the right side. Perry in the lane. She'll go in strong. Left hand layup. Rolls in and out. No good. Rebound put back is good. Count the basket for Natalie Klein. And that'll be the final points of the ball game. 65.